Daniel Ricciardo left Red Bull Racing for Renault at the end of 2018, and team boss Christian Horner still cannot understand Ricciardo's choice. The team has been doing extremely well since then, although finding a second driver alongside Max Verstappen has proved difficult. Ricciardo quit Red Bull after 2018 and joined Renault for two years where he took two podiums. In 2021, the Australian drove for McLaren and this year Ricciardo is yet again the teammate of Lando Norris at the team. Although things were going well for McLaren in 2021 and Ricciardo even took a victory to his name, things seem to be going poorly for the team this year. If you contrast this with Red Bull Racing and how things went there in recent years, you could say that Ricardo made the wrong choice. McLaren driver Daniel Ricardo showcased spectacularly bad timing when he declined a stratospheric offer to remain with Red Bull back in 2018. That's the opinion of team principal Christian Horner. Ricardo stunned the Formula One world when he opted to leave Red Bull after five seasons and seven Grand Prix wins. The Australian signed with Renault ahead of the 2019 season before joining McLaren for 2021, and he has since struggled badly for form. Despite securing McLaren's first since 2012 last season, Ricardo has failed to shine since joining the iconic racing team and has been largely overshadowed by teammate Lando Norris. The 22-year-old, who was expected to be the number two driver within the team, is believed to earn more than Ricardo's reported salary of approximately £13 million after signing his new deal. Horner has been a fan of Ricardo for some time, overseeing the Perth-born star's time with Red Bull's second team, Toro Rosso. After two seasons, he was promoted to the senior team to replace compatriot Mark Webber alongside four-time world champion Sebastian Vettel in 2014. Horner said, I remember when Daniel Ricciardo came into our team with Sebastian Vettel. Daniel was a young guy, a couple of years experience, similar to George Russell. He won three races to Sebastian Zero and beat him in the championship. And that was a big factor in Sebastian moving to Ferrari. Ricciardo's decision to leave for Renault four years later sparked confusion within Horner, considering the money and opportunity before him. The 48-year-old believes the Australian was concerned about the rise of 2021 world champion Max Verstappen. We put offers in front of him that were stratospheric, Horner said. But Daniel could see Max Verstappen in the ascendancy and he didn't want to become the second driver. Horner added that the timing potentially could not have been worse for Ricardo, as he cited the new Honda engine and the question marks surrounding it as reasons to jump ship to Renault. However, the Japanese manufacturer overcame a bumpy start to produce an elite power unit that has propelled Red Bull to the top of the grid in the last few years. It was not until last season, following a move to McLaren after two years at Renault, that Ricardo ended a near three-and-a-half-year winless drought. Horner feels Ricardo's talents have been wasted, and now he is in the same situation at McLaren as he was at Red Bull in going up against a young, hungry driver in Lando Norris. Daniel is a great driver, and we were sad when he decided to leave the team here, reflected Horner. And you know, it's unfortunately not worked out for him the way he would have liked. He's got great natural abilities, a big personality. Of course, now he's got a competitive teammate as well. It's given him a hard time and, you know, that's tough for him. Daniel Ricardo's known for his happy-go-lucky attitude, but he was in a world of pain as everything went wrong at McLaren. Daniel Ricciardo's mysterious struggles in his debut season with McLaren are laid bare for all to see in the new season of popular Netflix series Drive to Survive. After making the move from Renault in 2021, the Aussie F1 star found it difficult to adjust to his new car and he came crashing back to reality, playing second fiddle to younger teammate Lando Norris. The Brit finished sixth in the Drivers' Championship well ahead of Ricardo, who found some form briefly to win the Italian Grand Prix but still ended the season in 8th spot. Ricardo hit rock bottom in Monaco when he finished 12th after being lapped by Norris, who nabbed the final spot on the podium. His woes contributed to McLaren sliding down to 4th in the Constructors' standings last year, one spot lower than their 2020 result of 3rd. Speaking on Drive to Survive, McLaren boss Zach Brown said the difference between third and fourth in the team standings, in monetary terms, is tens of millions of dollars. He also reflected on his surprise at how poorly Ricardo adapted to life at his new home, specifically referencing the Monaco debacle. 
I've never experienced this situation where you see one car finishing third and the other not competitive, Brown said. Daniel struggled, which surprised us because Monaco is kind of his home race, he's won it before. I don't think he yet feels quite comfortable with the car. For sure, that's frustrating, it's thrown us a curveball. In an interview with Netflix, Ricardo said, This sport, it definitely has the ability to rip your heart out, from one day to the next. Before the first race of 2021, Ricardo optimistically predicted an array of podiums by season's end, but he managed that feat just once in Italy. At his lowest ebb after another poor result, Ricardo is shattered and doesn't want to face questions from journalists. What's the fine if I don't do media? He asks a McLaren staffer. It's embarrassing. Ricardo's former boss at Red Bull, Christian Horner, is filmed asking a McLaren team member why things were going so wrong for Ricardo. In the second episode of the new Drive to Survive season, F1 broadcaster Jenny Gao summed up the mood surrounding the Aussie, with so many people feeling sorry for the good guy of the grid. Everybody wants to know what happened to Daniel Ricardo, Gao says. Everything you hoped Daniel would bring to the team has disappeared. It's heartbreaking. Do you think Daniel Ricardo will bounce back this season? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications to see more of our future videos. With that said, keep enjoying our videos, and I'll see you in the next video.